This is a Montessori math work that can be adapted at home. We have sandpaper numbers here, and instead of using those at home, you could use a piece of paper writing a number out, using two hands to do tracing, one hand to hold the paper, and another hand to trace. So really enforcing using a, a padded finger. Three. Uno, dos, tres, three. This reads three. This means three, three. And setting the numbers out like this, you can also emphasize what is a even number, even. And what is a odd number? and the odd number being right below. So really reinforcing that. For those that are working with tens, our elder students, either moving into kindergarten or first grade, and we're really practicing our teens, and also addition, this is a really helpful one using those good old paper clips. So making a 10 family, and then showing that these are the units. So we have our 10, and you would count each one out, 10, one unit, 10, 11, one 10 bar, one unit means 11. And having a written form of that above is very helpful, one, one. So they can see that that one means one 10 and the other one means one unit. One more quick idea would be to play an adaptation of what we call the bank game. And this can be an easy one for instead of really large addition like we normally do with our beads and our hundred squares and thousand cubes, you could use counters such as these for going up to 10 and rolling out. Okay, you are going to go get four counters or four objects. Could you go find four objects? And finding something to establish as the counters before you begin the bank game is really helpful. So maybe using the paper clips or things of this nature or even little cotton balls that can be then brought on the tray back to you. and then helping count out. One, two, three, four. Now beside the dice, it is helpful to have that numeric written form of the number so that the child can start really imprinting that that written form means this quantity. Have fun.